Um, well, that all the students are engaged and clearly understanding the task that's required. Um, and if I would talk to the students, it would be that they knew how to be successful um, and equally an environment where they felt that they could easily ask the teacher or indeed their peer to double check to clarify what they were doing. So what I would look for in a high quality learning environment is really actively engaged young people young people who are asking questions, who are involved in discussions, who are actively taking notes, focusing on the teacher um, and enjoying like an enthusiastic participation in the lesson. Um, if it's good learning, I'm hoping to see students engaged in their lesson. I'm not looking for passive students, I want them doing things, I want busy classrooms, um, I don't want ever want quiet classrooms, certainly not in my specialism and I'm highly suspicious of when I walk into a classroom and it's very silent. I wonder what's actually going on in there. I want to see an unstressed teacher, I want to see unstressed kids and I want to see lots and lots of engagement. I'm really keen for active learning to be taking place. Um, I obviously like to see good behaviour and that pupils are um, compliant but I'm not interested in just seeing passive learners sitting still. Um, I want pupils to be engaging, participating, putting their hands up, asking questions, answering questions um, and really challenging um, the learning of others and, and see what's what's going on in the room. It's difficult to describe isn't it? Yeah. To know that actually there's great learning going on. It's difficult to describe isn't it because it's definitely like a vibe isn't it when you walk into a classroom so often it will be the students that are sitting up in their seats um, they are um, they're well equipped and they are actively participating in the lesson so they might be talking to the person sitting next to them or they might be engaging with the resource. Um, when I walk in a classroom good learning looks like a scene where there's a general hum of activity and it's a very positive environment. Students are all working well together and there's a spirit of curiosity in the classroom where students are engaged in the problem they're trying to solve or if they're looking at a specific topic, they're really curious about the whys and the hows behind the topic. What I would look for is student engagement and students talking um, about the subject that they're doing so they can be in groups talking together. And I am mainly talking about, well, I am talking about Key Stage 5 lessons. It's very apparent where they're engaged in what they're doing. They're having their own private discussions and they're feeding back and they're willing to share that with the teacher. If you walk into a Key Stage 4 lesson, you will feel a buzz of that lesson where all the students are participating and they're not just going off being distracted. So that's what I would look for for a good lesson. So I'd look at the students, see how they're interacting. So okay. there's obviously lots of level engagement. You described it as engaging lesson, but what are the barriers? So there's obviously lots of external barriers that can impact um, the learning. So for example, if it's snowing or um, there's obviously much more serious um, barriers that might be happening at home. But in terms of the actual lesson itself, um, barriers might be that the lesson has not been pitched appropriately, um, it might be too easy or it might be too hard, it might not be resourced effectively to generate learning if that makes sense, so that the task might be task orientated or it might not be designed to really um, develop an inquiry. Um, the aim and... for the student commission should be that we have a greater cohesion between teachers and students and that those working on the commission are able to really understand what learning is, how it works best and be able to help teachers um, choose and select appropriate methods for teaching. And I ultimately hope that this will permeate through the school community um, as their ideas and their knowledge um, encourage others to become more engaged in lessons. Um... I think a lot of teachers think that they've got to keep control of their classrooms and I think that dates back to when you know if, if kids were alert, if kids if a quiet classroom is a good classroom I think it dates back to that so I think a, a, the barrier to that is I think sometimes as teachers we need to sort of uh, loosen the bone a little bit I think we can give options to our students when they're learning, certainly in my subject, where ch children can choose from a range of tasks that still test their understanding and develop their understanding of core knowledge that we want them to learn. So I think that's, that's a pretty major barrier. I think other barriers to great learning are, um, you know, wider social impacts of which, you know, at the moment there's such a lot going on and I think we've got to be we've got to be nurturing of that. Some barriers would be low level disruption so that would be a, a factor. Uh, obviously 
less engaging teaching is also a key factor um, that would inhibit the learning and perhaps some inhibition about their own personal abilities so they feel inhibited to join in they don't have the confidence so we need to build the confidence in the students to know that they can engage with the lessons well at the moment in our current context i think um, frequent changes of routine are a real um, barrier to learning they um, disrupt behaviors um, we all know that having good solid routines really helps pupils in their learning. Um, I think there are also other external factors um, such as pressures um, on the pupils through social media um, and how pupils want to be perceived. So I feel that students can come up against some sort of various physical and emotional um, and sort of environmental barriers to learning. So if they are, have experienced something in a previous lesson that has maybe lowered how receptive they are to their learning, um, or if something's gone on at break time that's maybe causing them a little bit of emotional discomfort, so bringing things in from other areas of the school, um, and that can kind of, as I'm sure you know, that can lower their their behaviour or their expectations of themselves. Um, from a staff member's point of view, we need to be actively engaged in encouraging discussion, participation, involvement from our young people so that they can make the most of your knowledge in that. Um. I think one of the biggest barriers is for students not feeling that they can be successful and I think if they don't feel they can be successful then they're less willing to try and um, they don't have the motivation so being um, in an environment where students feel they can access the information and they can build upon their successes I think um, is really important so one barrier is students not knowing clearly what they have to do not knowing how to be successful um, and communication um, them being able to communicate to the teacher that they don't understand and the teacher being able to communicate um, what the next steps are. Students should have um, a sense of ownership over their own learning. I would like so to see that the students that you interview and that you see have a pride in what they're doing, they're engaged in what they're doing, they feel they've contributed to it. I think in fact listening to the students and feeding that back to staff about what the students feel is a good lesson rather than what the teaching staff necessarily feel is a good lesson, how they learn best, that can only develop um, a more positive, a collaborative relationship with the student and teacher that the students will take pride in, what, in their own learning. Well, I think one of the really exciting things about the Student Commission is that students and teachers are going to be at the heart of the learning and I think also what's exciting is that you can develop the learning for that particular context so it's um, learning that is going to work for the students in that particular place and the teachers. So I see in the long term teachers adapting to be more flexible um, so that we gain the optimum learning environment and also being able to have students and teachers um, share that good practice with other schools um, and show what's worked and what impact it's made and the students taking ownership of their responsibility for learning and gathering that sort of greater momentum um, and motivation. Students not knowing why they are doing the subject they are doing, not understanding its importance within their lives, and also not knowing why teachers have chosen certain methods for the class they're in. I'm really hoping that it will develop um, positively in our teaching staff here, an understanding of um, a range of different ways to engage students in tasks and to think more creatively about some of the activities that are being set to develop the skills that we want to see developing in our students. I'm really excited, I think it's a brilliant opportunity to listen to the students and actually have a programme to have a real impact, if that makes sense, rather than just sort of sporadic or ad hoc. So the actual programme designed in it as it is will result in some changes to the way that teaching and learning happens at LECA. I hope it will be um, a period of time where we can really collaborate with the with the students um, to go back into their shoes and really see their perspective um, but also give um, the pupils a better understanding of um, some of the methodologies we use um, and the reasoning behind some of our strategies. I'd love to see. What do you hope the Student Commission will achieve? 
I would love to see our students feeling that they've had a very active role in their education, rather than feeling that education is something that has just happened to them, something that they have partaken in and they have told us what they um, need. That the students are fully participating, a bit like what I said with what makes a good lesson, that they, they feel engaged, there's an enthusiasm, there's a thirst for learning. That would be ideal to see that they're all interested in what they're doing and they know what their next steps are and they're looking forward to the next steps in their education and they have full res respect for the environment that they're in. I would love... Lesson here at, here at LECA, what would you like the learning to look like? I would love the learning at LECA to be a two-way thing because I learn so much from the kids every day and I think that's something that everybody can get involved with. Um, give and take from them, discussions, them doing mind maps, um, you know, creativity from them, you know, everybody finding a way that they learn and that they can teach others with as well. Um, loads of peer support. I think they work really well when they're talking to their, talking to their friends um, and that sort of, that discussion and that story. I think even more engagement um, and much more um, learning happening, much more learning that's taking place that's been carefully considered, carefully planned for, um, and sequenced appropriately so that the students are are making as much of the learning opportunity as they can. Um, students being actively involved, students sort of challenging in a positive way um, how things could be um, adapted for their own environment, all students being engaged so um, they're excited about their learning, they're talking and they want to talk about what they're doing, they're excited to learn the next steps. Um, but also knowing that there is collaboration within the school, but also beyond, um, so that we can say, well, we've learned how to, or we tried, trialed this because we saw it worked in another school and we've tweaked it to work for us. So I think that um, the sense that teaching and learning is ongoing and changing and adapting accordingly, and that all the students are able to feel successful and be successful. And I think one of the things that's really important from my perspective, is that our students become better communicators because that's going to help us within the school environment but also it means that we're preparing students for life beyond school and the world is constantly changing. This year we've had to um, adapt to using technology and I see that as an important part of developing our curriculum to engage and motivate students um, and preparing our students for life beyond, for, for life in the world that is changing and where they need to be responsible and thoughtful adults. Go forward two years in a time capsule and see the end of the student commission. I would like to see a teacher doing something in the classroom that a student acknowledges that he created based on the research that's available um, and encourage the teacher to try it and it worked and I think that will give the students real agency over their learning. I would also like to see a situation where there are small parts of the lessons that the students themselves are able to take um, control of the lesson um, and teach the subject to their peers. And I think that will really improve engagement uh, and ultimately improve learning. To see people take more responsibility for their own learning, I think they, um, they obviously come to school um, waiting for us to inspire them and enrich their lives um, and I think that of course is our role but I really want them to take the responsibility themselves and um, think about what they're doing outside of the classroom, within the classroom, within the whole school um, to really um, push them forward. I'd really like to see students using the language of assessment in their learning. I think that's really important because they can't improve what they don't know the words to improve on, if you know what I mean. Um, I'd also like to see students actively engaged in their learning.